Uh, I'm gonna give some Waluigi some love because no one else will. What I'd love to do is like when I get like more viewers and all that, I'd actually like to just play casual Mario Kart with the uh, viewers. That would be good. Really wish I knew how to do that. Yeah, pretty sure it's not too difficult. Yeah, uh, it, it shouldn't be difficult. It's just like, you know, getting other people to watch me. Oh, are you serious? Now, of all times. Oh, I hit the person behind me. Shit. Oh, fuck yeah, it's Waluigi time, boys. Uh, did you manage to get in or did like no one just leave? <laughs> so he couldn't get in yet. Nah, no one left, damn. Alright. That's a bit annoying. Oh well. You'll get in eventually, my friend. Oh, I just got kicked. Okay. <laughs> Guess you get in one way. Okay, uh, what if I go regional? Maybe that way if, like, the internet, uh, the, the connection won't be, like, it won't fucking kick me. Or less people? Yeah. You'd actually get in. <laughs> this is one German dude. Holy crap! How do you play the game this much to get, like, such high fucking scores like that? Oh, Nathan's playing Mario Kart now. Hey, we get a three-way. <laughs> uh, it's a sex thing. Now, did you guys actually get in? I don't... I think you did. Still, somehow. Maybe uh, it, maybe if I set up a tournament that's just advertising my fucking Twitch channel. <laughs> maybe that would work. Holy crap, there are actually good players. <laughs> weird. It feels weird being this far behind. Ugh, really? Four green shells? What are you doing? Drift. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. I did a brain fart. <laughs> that cost me my good position. God damn it. It ruined everything. Hey, how about go with my idea with the, uh, the Twitch tournament? <laughs> Screw that. I'll see if that actually works. Tournament. Create a tournament. Uh, create an online tournament. While a tournament is active, the results of the participants are recorded in the ranking. When you create a tournament, you must decide on a name, set specific rules, and choose when it will be active. Please avoid including any personal information or using language that... <laughs> Alright, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's see. Weekly, daily, fixed period. Um, yeah, that's the date. Start time, 6. It's... It is currently, like, nearly 10 o'clock, so... Yeah, 10 o'clock. End date. 10 at... I'll say... Yeah, midnight, just at the end. Races, no limit. Don't switch. Uh, open to everyone. Yeah. Unable to register the tournament times, please check... Oh, really? How do I do this then? Okay, screw it. <laughs> I'll figure this shit out later. I thought that was going to be cool. Okay, maybe if I join you guys. Okay, I can't join you guys. Fuck's sake. For a company that's all about, like, playing video games with friends, Nintendo makes it really hard to play video games with friends. Really? I am the only one here. I am currently the only one here. Exit your game. Join in mine. <laughs> uh, man. A man fails at making tournament trials harder methods instead. <laughs> I don't know how this works. I've never done it before, okay? Yeah, that's the story of my life. If I can't make a simple thing work, I'll do the harder thing. If it, like, guarantees I, I have fun. 
Oh, she fell. <laughs> Rando fell. It's Waluigi time, bitch. Oh, that's bullshit. It just clipped me. Holy crap, Rudge. How are you that far ahead? <laughs> like, I know you're autistically good at this game, but Jesus Christ. See, uh, the end date was technically midnight 22 hours ago. Ah, okay, I stuffed that up. Alright, let's try this tournament again. The tournament has been created. Alright. So considering that, like, people are here, I must have done it right. <laughs> That's good. Well, if this is successful, I might do more of these in the future. Have, like, Mario Kart Mondays or something. No, 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 no! Oh, I narrowly avoided that bomb. Oh yeah, if this does super well, I'll have, like, some days where, like, it's 200cc. And everyone gets really mad. <laughs> we both hit the same fucking tree! Oh, god damn it. Red Shell, go! Go, hit him before he hits the thing. Ah, oh, god damn it. Why are you so fucking good at this? Uh, if you want another follow, quick, uh, make a pun in 10 seconds. Oh, I'm terrible at puns! Um. There sure were a lot of twists and turns in that race. Uh. I'm not that punny, yeah. Not punny at all. Uh, you played way too much because the Wii U had nothing. Bullshit, the Wii U had nothing. It had no player base, but it didn't have nothing. Like, mean, fuck, the majority of the games most people have on the Switch are ports of Wii U games. Oh, did you fucking fall off? Ha! <laughs> Okay, don't fuck this up. No! Why? Why? Come on. Oh, I... Okay, if I plan this right, I could get this. Why did I use it way too early? Why? Damn, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Damn it, why do you have to be so good at this freaking game? Don't you have a kid you're supposed to be looking after right now? What are you doing playing video games? Raj, get out of my ass. Seriously. I want to win one for once. <laughs> oh, poor Nathan is so far behind. No. <laughs> Oh, why did I have to hit the tree? Not the crab! No! No! I've fallen at the last hurdle! No! <laughs> oh! God damn it! I... I... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> no! It was Waluigi's time to shine! Why? It was his turn in the sun. Okay, final stretch. Don't screw this up. Whatever you do, do not screw this up. Yes! <laughs> it's Waluigi time! Fuck yeah! One win for me, like, five to Rudge. Yeah! <laughs> There's a moral victory. Why does this feel so slow now? It's probably because I'm so used to doing this track on uh, 200cc. Like, I am so goddamn close at uh, like three starring every single uh, cup with uh, 200cc. I just need like two of the DLC cups left. They are so hard. This is like screw up one turn and like you fucked up your entire run. 
Oh, really, dude? Really? Got a, you got a hit an Australian with a boomerang? That's... <laughs> that's a low blow, man. Oh, shit. More mushrooms. Get rid of that crap. Pew! Pew! Fuck are you! Oh shit! Oh shit! We're bringing it back! We're bringing it back! No! No! Get out of here! Get out of here, Sweeney! Oh no! Yes! Yes! Waluigi! Go! Go! Yeah! There we go! Oh shit! Waluigi wins again! Uh bomb. Probably should have thrown that a bit earlier. <laughs> no, not backwards! Go forwards! No! As long as I beat Rudge, I'm happy. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh, nearly hit him. Oh shit! No! Rudge, you are not beating me! There we go! <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm one point behind you now. You responsibility having son of a bitch. <laughs> Another bloody coin. Oh, don't you fucking... No! Oh, no! Why? That's not fair! That's some horse shit! Go! Go, go, go! Oh, oh, oh. Why? It's not fair. Wait, um... Where is it? Oh, that was fun. Uh, so unfair! Yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah, other than Smash, which, uh, which game from E3 are you most excited to see on Switch? Um... Oh, I don't know, really. Uh, the Pokemon Let's Go, kind of. Mainly just because it got me into playing Pokemon Go again. Like, I have like, always wanted like a proper uh, Pokemon game on the Switch. This is like the closest we're gonna get until next year when like the proper next generation gets uh, announced. Which I'll most likely play like fully once and then get sick of. Which is exactly what happened to um uh, with X and Y and Sun and Moon. It's a real shame because like there's so much better games than like all the others like graphically and presentation wise and all that but like in the end they just feel like a lot more boring so like maybe the um the pokemon let's go games might like breathe a little bit of new life into the franchise a bit even though technically they're just kind of spin-offs they're just like more advanced versions of pokemon go Pokemon Go at home. Like going back on um, the Pokemon Let's Go thing, um, I do like that it has uh, Pokemon Go connectivity, but like the fact that you can only trade over Gen One Pokemon over to it is kind of lame to me. Especially now that they're up to like what Hoenn and stuff with uh, Pokemon Go. So there's like a good hundred and something Pokemon you can't even like use in the Let's Go games. It's a real disappointment. Cause I got me, uh, I got myself a fucking Torchic the other day. And like, oh fuck yeah, Torchic, love that chick. Love Torchic. I'd love to have like uh, Razor Torchic on my Switch. That'd be sweet, but it's like, nah, fuck you. You don't get to. You don't get to have a fucking Blaziken on your Switch game. It's like, oh, Game Freak, why? Hey, hey, Waluigi time, let's go. Uh, would the Switch count for this generation or next generation? 
Uh, it's C. Yeah, <laughs> Wooper isn't in it, feels bad. <laughs> oh, poor Wooper. Yeah. Uh, I'd say... Yeah, I'd say Switch is, like, this generation. It's like... They did say, um... Like, the next Pokemon games that are coming to Switch are straight up just, like... The next generation after Sun and Moon, so... Got a shiny Squirtle Squad Blastoise. See, that sounds cool, but... The glasses are just the aviators for the, um... Uh, for the player model. Not like the actual Squirtle Squad glasses that are like based on Gurren Lagan or some shit. So it's like not as cool. They could port any game to the Switch, what would it be? Um, hmm. Oh, I don't know. See, I'm a huge uh, uh, JRPG fan, and like, so like, porting those games would be super easy. So like, I'd like one that would be, uh, like, you would actually have to push the Switch's hardware. Oh no, got it, got it. The um, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 uh, 1 2.5 Remix uh, bundle. I'd love to see that ported to the Switch. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Simply so I can uh, do like a um, level 1 critical mode uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 run. Like, on the go. That shit is stressful, but fucking fun. <laughs> like, I, I will stream myself doing that eventually. Like, I just... What I want to do is I also want to get through all the other Kingdom Hearts games first. So I'm trying to play all the Kingdom Hearts games before 3 comes out in January. And like, I'm going to try and play them on the hardest difficulty I can. So, yeah. <laughs> Level 1 critical mode run, boys. It's happening eventually. I would also like to see uh, XCOM 2 be ported to the Switch. That would be interesting. Like having that game with uh, touch controls. <laughs> uh, yeah, XCOM Enemy Unknown was on the fucking iPad at one stage for like six bucks. That totally didn't annoy the crap out of me after I bought it at full price on the 360 like months beforehand. Hey, there we go. I might stream XCOM 2 as well, at some point. Would love to stream, like, the PC version of it, but, like... If for some reason my, uh, my computer can't handle streaming the, uh, DMC remake, there is no way in hell it's going to handle streaming XCOM 2 with, like, the couple hundred mods I have installed on that damn thing. Uh, if I could make a game, what would it be about? Um, hmm. Be original. Um... Okay, a uh, little backstory. I um, I actually took a game design course, which uh, in the end did not turn out well. I learnt nothing, and I'm now fifty grand in debt. But <laughs> but yeah, I, I took that course because I had an idea for um, uh, for a game. It is um, it, it it's going to be an RPG, but it's like it's based around um the concept of making your own D&D campaign. So, like, there are two different uh, parts of the game. There is, like, the actual RPG moments of the game, but there's also, um, like, moments outside the game. Kind of like how um, uh, the Persona games kind of have, like, the, uh, the social links or the confidant kind of thing. So, like... There would be times where, like, you'd go out, uh, meet your players, and just hang out with them in real life, try and, like, get creative shit uh, boosted, and also, like, some pre-game preparation shit. So it'd be like, uh, bring snacks, and that, like, affords, like, this kind of um, uh, temporary buff within uh, this game session, and, like, stuff like that. 
and yeah, you'll be hanging out with your friends, and like the more you hang out with them, the more creative they will be in uh, in the D and D session, which will lend to them uh, their character actually performing better in the game. Which th that was a cool idea that I had. So like it really, it's a more fleshed out version of Knights of uh, Knights of uh, Pen and Paper, I believe that game is called. Uh, P5 Portable, if only. Oh, pff. the closest I can get is uh, streaming it to my Vita. And even then, like, the performance on that is kind of meh. Here, yeah. woo debt. Yeah, debt fucking sucks, man. <laughs> uh, which game do you hate the most? Oh, that's controversial, goddamn. <laughs> you gonna make me do that? Uh, Undertale? I really don't like it. I do not see the hype. Like, to me, it is a barely functioning RPG with cool ideas and good music, but in the end, it just doesn't, like, it doesn't connect well together. Like, the to me, the characters aren't all that interesting, and... Um... Hmm. What else? Oh, like, the... The, uh, the meta moments of, like, uh, uh... I think, like, you had to, like, restart the game or some shit to continue onwards. So it's something like that. I, I never finished, like, the full thing, but, like, I just never found it really interesting. But somehow it like exploded and turned into like this fucking meme of a thing. And I'm just like, why? I don't understand it. And like all the love that it got just made me kind of resent it for like admittedly really stupid reasons. <clears throat> so yeah, I do not really like Undertale that much. Oh, what another game that I really don't like because like I just find the concept really dumb. Is, um... Uh, I think the game is called Duck Season? It's like, um, a VR game that got kind of big last year, I believe. That, um... Oh, I missed that shortcut turn. Yeah, it was a uh, VR game that was essentially, Oh, it's Duck Hunt, but in VR. It's like, oh, that's cool. But then, like, if you shoot the dog, like people have always wanted to do in Duck Hunt, it turns into some weird VR survival horror fucking thing, and it's like, eh. <laughs> like that's that's just kind of dumb to me. Like, I don't like the idea of people trying to make the next Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, um, like I I will admit, like when Five Nights at Freddy's first came out, I was like, oh, hot damn, that's actually a really fucking cool idea of a game. But then, like, it got, like, game after game after game, then, like, news of a movie, and it's like, did it really do that well? And, like, there's a whole bunch of people, like, making their own weird fucking horror games and shit, trying to just catch up to that, like, um... What's a game that's gotten kind of popular as of recently, like Baldi's something or other educational thing, where it's like really early 1990s graphics or some shit. And it's essentially the same thing, but like, oh, the creepy thing is uh, creepy early 90s CG is coming to kill you. It's like... Uh... Uh... The Duck Hunt Survival Horror, what, who went pre-planning said this was a good idea? I don't know. I don't know, but apparently it did well. Like, considering that it's on VR. Uh, for example, of the Undertale hate, check out his Smash Wii U Let's Play. <laughs> yeah, that video we did, where the thumbnail is just the, um... Uh, what was it? The, um... Uh, that, that stage where you get, like, the Wii U community post, and it, and it just says, Stop posting Undertale. <laughs> I remember that. That was, that, that was a good video we did. I, I still can't believe, like, I, uh, we made, like, a Let's Play channel before all this. Had, like, nearly a thousand videos, and no one saw them. 
<laughs> so much wasted effort on my part, holy crap. Ah, uh, still, it, it was fun, got me into, like, I learned how to edit videos and edit sound, so... I don't know, at least I have some new skill sets. Also got me used to, like, just talking at nothing, like I'm kinda doing right now. It helped me, like, come out of my shell a bit more. God damn. I can only imagine trying to stream now and, like, being, like, the super awkward, like, shut-in I used to be, like, five years ago. Oh damn. Come on. Go! Go, bitch, go, bitch! Yeah, there we go. Uh, which bad game do you think you can improve? Wait. Before I get onto that one, uh, before E3, I was playing Splatoon 2 and someone posted Sans for Smash. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Like, that shit was everywhere. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I actually saw a, um, I actually saw a picture, um, the other day of, like, someone edited, like, a, a screenshot of, uh, Dragon Ball Z of, like, a character, like, expanding and is about to blow up or some shit, and, like, Goku was holding him back, but, like, they've swapped it so the dude that's going to explode is, um, Sans. And Goku as Waluigi is like, I'm s he has to sacrifice himself so Sans doesn't get into Smash. <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh, um, what bad game do you think you can improve? Um, oh, ooh, let's see. A bad game that I think I could improve on. Hmm. Ooh. Like, that's tough, because, like, there are a lot of games that are bad in different ways. And, like, obviously they can be improved in different ways. Um, what did I say when I was doing my Dragon Age Inquisition Let's Play? Um, like, yeah, because, like, I, I, I consider Dragon Age Inquisition to be, like, one hell of a disappointment of a game. Because, like, one was so good, two was rushed, but still pretty good considering how rushed it was and, like, Bioware recently being bought out by EA. But, um, Inquisition was... Ooh, that was horrendous, that game. What I'd do is, like, with that game, I'd stop it from being an open-world game, for one. Um... Uh, make side quests actually interesting instead of just go here, collect this, come back and get power that you can use to, you know, unlock story missions, which is fucking stupid. That has always been, like, my biggest gripe with uh, Dragon Age Inquisition was the fact that it forces you to do side quests, so, like, for, like, a secondary currency that you can use to continue the main story. That sucked. Uh, like, there was another thing that's more of a nitpick, really, is, um... In that game, they all... They, they're constantly, um... Uh, talking about how cool, like... The, the player character from Dragon Age 1 and Dragon Age 2 are. And all that. And, uh... Like, yeah, the player character from Dragon Age 2 does come back. And, like, for a story reason. <laughs> Spoilers, I mean, sorry, shit. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, they're constantly hyping up how cool the um, Dragon Age 1 protagonist is. But since he, unlike Dragon Age 2's protagonist, is, like, completely creator-made and doesn't have, like, a canon name besides the hero of Ferelden, um, they can't really do anything with him. Ah, oh, damn, I lost. But, um... But yeah, like, there's a certain bit in Dragon Age or, uh, Inquisition where, like, one of the mechanics of that game is, um, if you've ever played, like, new World of Warcraft, uh, you'd probably kind of get this idea. It's the, uh, like, the garrison missions where, like, you have to go out, get people to do missions for you that take, like, a certain amount of real-life time for them to finish. Which, 
I can understand in an MMO, but in a single player game like that, it's like, fucking why? But, um... Yeah, Dragon Age Inquisition had that. And one of those missions had... Uh, you had to contact the, um... Yeah, you had to contact the player character of Dragon Age 1. And I thought, oh, if I do that, maybe he'll show up in the game and, like, actually change some things and make it be cool. It's like, alright, I'll do this. It's like, oh, I have to wait 36 hours for this to complete. Alright, I'll come back in a day and a half. I came back to it in a day and a half and I got, like, an accessory that a character could equip. And it wasn't even all that good. So it's like... You hyped him up for so long, said he's missing, we finally found him, and we get a belt for it. <laughs> God damn. Like, Inquisition has so much bad shit going on with it. Like, and I'm not even, like, talking about, like, the controversial bad things, like, um... Like, how they completely changed uh, the Kunari standards of, like, gender or some shit. I don't even want to go into that, but... <clears throat> yeah, that was a mess. <laughs> God damn, that game was a frickin' mess. Oh, don't hit the pipe. God damn it. Rog, you get back here. You get back here, you son of a bitch. Why do you have so much time to be so good at this when you have a kid at home to look after? This isn't fair. Do you just drop that kid off at like uh, with your girlfriend? Like, yeah, look after my kid. I'm playing video games on the internet. <laughs> Oh, Stoven, no! Oh, damn. Oh, so close. Flex tape guy for Smash. Uh, that was your last race? Alright, Rog. See you later, man. Uh, what fan base do you think is the worst? Oh, easy. Steven Universe fans. Oh my god. <laughs> they are the worst. I'm loving all these questions, man. They're, they're, they're keeping me talking. <laughs> like, that's uh, one thing I have, like, a lot of trouble with, is, like, just, like, constantly talking and being entertaining. So, uh, yeah, thanks, man. But, yeah, uh, Steven Universe fans, holy shit, they are goddamn annoying. Uh, by experience, I can say it's horrible. Oh, you. You poor bastard. It's like... Ah, like, uh, I've seen some bad uh, fan bases before, but the fact that, like, Steven Universe fans go out of their way to harass people because they drew a character in a way that they don't like to the point where, like, the artist themselves, like, considers, c like, committing suicide, and people on the, like, the show team have to say, guys, can you have, like, can you cut this shit out? You're ruining our image. It's like, fucking, ugh. And this is coming from a guy who used to be a brony for fuck's sake. The people who notoriously turned, like, a cartoon for kids into one of the most popular porn image searches on the internet. That's fucking bad. If, I, if someone like me, who has seen that shit, and can say that you are worse than that, you fucked up. And I feel sorry for little girls who actually, like, really like that show and just end up finding porn everywhere. It's not our fault. Furries ruined everything. Uh, I think the worst fan base is Undertale. Yeah, that's, that's, un that's understandable. Uh, MLP is pretty bad as well. <laughs> That's coming from a guy who has Princess Celestia and Princess Luna tattooed on the back of his calf. So yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Did you know there is porn of Cuphead and Mugman? They're kids. Yeah, dude, it's the internet, man. There's porn of everything. Man, Rog, I bet you regret that fucking tattoo now, don't you? Alright, Steven, you and me, 1v1, let's do. Let's fucking do this.
Uh, I'm trying to speak, but I'm fucking gassy. God damn it. On, oh, boy. It's fucking Waluigi time. Let's go. It's his time to shine. Oh, fuck yeah. Waluigi wins again. You cannot ignore his girth. That's probably why he isn't in Smash. His dick is too big. Uh, favorite map. Uh, in this... I oh, like Mount Wario. Ah, yeah, so in this. Ah, Excite Bike Arena. <laughs> his dick is too big. Yeah, you cannot ignore his girth. And according to Nintendo, he's also uh, uncircumcised as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Excite Bike Arena. Uh, Yoshi's Circuit with the mo multiple routes. Yeah, it's a... That's a good map. It's a good map. I just wish I didn't hate Yoshi with a passion. <laughs> It's a glorified power-up turned into a character, it's stupid. That's coming from a guy who's still super salty that Waluigi isn't in Smash. Why did I throw that forward? No! Oh, thank god. <laughs> I meant to throw that backwards. That nearly, literally, blew up in my face. Oh boy. Yeah, there we go, Mario Circuit. <laughs> Yoshi commits tax fraud. <laughs> I've, I've seen those pics, man. That shit's funny. Like, it's funny in a real stupid kind of way. Because, like, it's really dumb, but it's one of those things that's only just out of, like, Nintendo's plausibility for making a game. Because, like, if they somehow made a game about Tingle from fucking, uh, Legend of Zelda, and, like, made it all about him trying to get a girlfriend, and the story is very similar to Wizard of Oz, then, yeah, they can make a game about Yoshi committing tax fraud. If, if they can make an entire series of games about just a collection of five-second minigames, then, yeah, they can make Yoshi commits tax fraud. Low battery. Shit. <laughs> this is amazing. I've, ha I've had this uh, bloody, uh, Switch and this Pro Controller for months, and this is literally the first time I've had to charge this damn thing. The bet, like the battery life on this controller is ridiculously amazing. Like it's close to the Vita's uh, battery life. Man, that thing had a good fucking battery life. Like there'd be times I'd have it on like sleep mode for over a month, and I come back to it and it still like has half its charge left. Kirby's a good boy. He does his taxes. He is a good boy. He does his taxes. Not only does he do his taxes, he doesn't leave it to the last minute. Like, as soon as tax season starts, he, he gets on it. Fuck off coins. I have all the items in the game, I don't need you anymore. See, that's the thing that really annoyed me about Mario Kart 7 and 8, is like, you have to collect coins, like, during the races to unlock new shit. Instead of, you know, like, doing the Grand Prix modes like all the previous games. It's less about skill and more about, like, how much you play the game. No! No! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! <laughs> Did I manage to hit you with that? No! Oh, that was a close race. Holy crap. Uh, what's your favorite game system and game for that system from 1983 to 2006? Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> what was my favorite thing back then? What was I super into back in my early teens? Kingdom Hearts. That's what it was. Kingdom Hearts 2 was, like, my shit. <laughs> uh, Mario Kart 9 will be good. Maybe. We'll, we'll have to see. But yeah, I, I love the absolute hell out of Kingdom Hearts 2. On the PS2, obviously. But, but really, all together, my favorite console would have to be the PS1, though. And my favorite game on the PS1 would have to be Crash Team Racing. Like, still to this day, I haven't met... I, I haven't played a kart racer that 
is better than that. Like, as good as Mario Kart is, I don't have nearly as much fun with Mario Kart as I do with Crash Team Racing. God damn, that game is just, like, near perfect. Like, it was the first time uh, Naughty Dog ever made a racing game, and they fucking nailed it. Come on, Stoven. You can catch up. I know you can. You're actually pretty good at this. <laughs> Especially when I fuck up like that. I know you can catch up. And this game is actually, like, surprisingly difficult when it's only two people. Because you can't rely on other people to, like, somehow get past you and beat the people in front of you. That you can't reach. Oh, that one didn't count. Uh, risk it! Oh, get off the grass! No, Stoven's right- No! No! Oh! <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have taken that risk. Oh, good job, Stoven. Uh, my favorite system was the Wii, because I grew up with it since I was born in 2005. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you were born in 2005? Jeez. Do you know how old that fucking makes me? I was born in 1993. I'm 12 years older than you, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Every time I have a conversation with someone who, um, who, like, grew up with the Wii and says, like, oh, yeah, my first game was Mario Galaxy. I'm like, but that game only just came out. Wait, that was... Wait. Oh, God, I'm old! <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel so old. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Makes us feel super old. It's always the funniest thing. Like, um... Just meeting people who are... Like, they are essentially adults, but still their first game system was like a fucking Wii. See, like, a PS2 I can at least get, because I got my PS2 when I was like fucking... 7, and, like, the PS2's lifespan was fucking ridiculous. It was, like, over a decade or some shit. It's so, like, yeah, a lot of people grew up with a PS2. But, pff, fucking wee, Jesus. Oh, nice win, Stoven. Nice win. <laughs> uh, N64 PS1 chipped was my first systems at home. I'm pretty sure they didn't include it from memory. Yeah. Yeah, my PS1 was chipped as well. I played so many games on that. But, like... <laughs> my mother is a little bit overprotective uh, when it came to the games I played, so, like... All the, like, huge games that were, like, more mature for the PS1, I never played. I never played Final Fantasy VII, uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, uh, Metal Gear Solid... I never got into... I, I just never played those games as a kid. So, like, years later when like I got a computer that was actually pretty good with uh, emulation, I emulated those games and I just didn't really enjoy them. Because I wasn't a kid and I just couldn't get into them like a kid would. Yeah, but GameCube is where I put the most hours overall. Oh yeah, I better charge my fucking thing. Oop. Yeah. And I got a GameCube on, like, the last legs of its lifespan. I got one for 99 bucks, brand new, at EB Games. I only got, like, a few games for it. I got, uh, Melee, because of course. Um, uh, Sonic Adventure 2. And Beyblade V-Force. Because I was still into bl uh, Beyblades back then for some fucking reason. <laughs> that was a weird thing that I had. Like, I was just always super into those, like, clearly, like, anime advertisements for, like, just anime toys. Like, Beyblades, Crush Gear, which no one seems to remember. Um, Bakugan those kinds of shits. I, I was always into that shit. 
Probably because I was autistic. Like, legitimately autistic, not... Um, not like the insult autistic. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I wasted the boost. But yeah, I was like super into all that shit, like, way later than, like, most people. Oh, what was the one that was like little models that shot marbles out of the chest? Ah, uh, beat them on! Ah, oh, that's it. Yeah, those things. I went hard on beat em on when they fucking first came out. Like, they kind of sucked, really, but like, me being like <laughs> an autistic fucking teenager would constantly bring like the whole stadium, which is like a foot long <laughs> like a couple feet long and like it came in pieces I had to bring it in like a fucking sack I this was before we had lockers to put shit in so like I had to put it behind like the teacher's desk wait for fucking lunchtime and like we're in year eight at the time as well and fucking oh god the amount of stares I got it's like why is someone of this age playing with kids toys uh let's see da, 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 fucking Beyblade V-Force uh the game where the AI difficulty never changed yeah never scaled once you got better than them you, you fucking win the game playing Bakugan in the library yeah that was a thing that we tried doing once uh, cartridges or DVDs? Um, hmm. Well, like, they both have their upsides, really. Like, because cartridges, while not having, like, the same, uh, uh, storage space as discs, like, their load times are significantly better. But, like, discs can hold way more, so... It's, it's more of a personal preference kind of thing, but, um... Uh. Like the majority of the games that I played were always on disc anyway, so... Like, besides the DS, the 3DS, the Vita, and the Switch, which sounds like a lot, but altogether, I didn't really have many cartridges. Um, yeah, like, I didn't really play cartridge games all that much. <laughs> remember the Vita? <laughs> no one remembers the Vita. Real shame, because that thing was a fucking powerhouse of a console. I brought that game specifically to play Persona 4 Golden. I, yeah, I spent like 300 bucks on the console. It's pretty much the only game I have for it, and to this day, I do not regret it. I would have gladly paid like 500 bucks to play Persona 4 Golden. To me, that is the best game that has ever existed, ever. The only downside to that game is they changed the fucking battle thing <laughs> to a worse one. A lot of people, for some reason, really didn't like, um... Uh, what's the fucking battle thing called? I think it's Life Will Change... No, that's Persona 5. I can't remember. Yeah, a lot of people really didn't like that one, but I absolutely fucking love that song. Like, as soon as I heard it, I'm like... I need to pick up my bass, I need to learn how to play that fucking song, I learned how to play that fucking song, I played it every single fucking day. I loved that shit. I really wish I remember how to play it though. Uh, isn't Freedom Planet really good as well? Um, I'm, I haven't played Freedom Planet. I think, I think what you're thinking of is Freedom Wars? Ah, tournament's closed. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, I think you're thinking of uh, Freedom Wars, which is kind of like Monster Hunter, but fun. But... <laughs> but yeah, that game is actually pretty fucking fun. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was... Ooh. That was really fucking fun, guys. That is... Yeah, yeah, that game... Yeah, that game's fun. Yeah, th that that was really fun. I'll, I, I gotta do this again another time. That should be a thing I do from now on. It's like every Monday, it's just Mario Kart Monday. Bam, do it. 
Because <laughs> I, I haven't had this much fun since the um, uh, Octo Expansion stream like a couple weeks ago. That was fucking fun. I gotta do this again. <laughs>